Hey, Zenfa. So, PlayStation have a problem, but I have the solution. Yes, in Didi Didi. So, here's what I propose. The problem, as has been discussed on many, many videos by many, many gaming YouTubers out there over the last few years, is Jim Ryan. <sighs> The most unenthusiastic, least exciting CEO that PlayStation's ever had. Okay, now yes, he makes bonehead decisions left, right, and center. And it is more than fair to say that he just doesn't excite people. I mean, and he gets gamers riled up in the wrong way. How many times has he said something boneheaded like, oh, why would anybody want to play old games? Why, didn't they want, why would they want to play that? That looks awful. But it's not about how it looks, Jim. It's about how it plays. It's about the memories. It's about the nostalgia. That's why there's a retro games market. You know? And it's under his leadership that the uh, PlayStation 1 Classic was such a horrendous mess. You know? And then, like, he says, that he says things and then he contradicts himself. And it's just... Ridiculous! It's probably he's probably the reason why, like, you know, the new the revamped PlayStation Plus is not everything it could be. Because let's face it, it's good, but it could have been so much better. And policies and going to Brussels to cry about the Microsoft thing. Now, don't get me wrong. I think it's kind of a bit poo that Microsoft is going to own one of the largest companies in all of gaming and that company should remain independent, but, you know, all the game companies, you know, over time have bought big concerns, you know. Admittedly, this is the biggest concern because Microsoft has got the biggest wallet, but we'll see how they manage it because it is fair to say that maybe at this point, Microsoft, you know, its games division will have become too big and too unwieldy and there's every possibility that they might make a horrendous mess of everything and they were going to end up with this big games company getting massively devalued because, you know, people no longer believe, believe in, its prop, in its properties because Microsoft have mishandled it so badly. I'm not saying that's going to happen, but I'm saying there's a good chance of that because how many game studios do Microsoft have? And how many games do Microsoft gamers get to play? Exclusive, you know. It's tricky, but that is so not what this video is about. Okay, so Jim Ryan, he's just not a people person. He's not the guy you want to pop up on the stage of E3 and announce. We've had great guys in the past that I've made videos about, you know. Andrew Howe, Sean Layden, you know, Shuhei Yoshida, you know. Guys like that, they were... Jack Tretton, guys like that were just amazing, you know, they could really fire up a crowd, you felt like they were, you know, that they knew about gaming and they understood gaming. I mean, aside from a couple of shots I've seen online, I don't imagine that Jim Ryan outside of those publicity shots has ever picked up a controller. You know, this guy doesn't strike me as a gamer, he doesn't strike me as so I'm passionate about this thing that we love. You know, gamers like you and me. I mean, that's why I do this channel, because I love gaming. I'll never get famous doing this, but I do it because I love it. And I do it because I love gaming. All right? And Jim Bryan just doesn't seem to have that. He doesn't have this, have any... va va voom You know? There's just... He just stands there and goes... It's, it's like a phone call Muppet Babies, you know? <laughs> or... or, or or in Peanuts, you know? That's all I get with Jim Ryan. There's no personality, there's nothing. Even the king of ASMR, Mark Cerny, has a personality. You know, he's there and he's talking in a very measured tone and it's quiet, but it's thoughtful and it's full of information with slight inflections to grab the listener's ear but not overpower. I mean, the guy's, you know, he draws you in. It's like, an, even though it's like it's, it can be a little dull, it's also hella watchable, you know? I mean, the guy has a presence on stage. The other gentleman I mentioned, they have a presence on stage. 
Jim Ryan is little more than a cardboard cutout that can move. You know? So, Jim Ryan is a numbers guy. He's a business guy. Good. If that's his thing, have him as that. But for the love of all that's holy PlayStation, please stop putting this guy in situations where he has to be A, interviewed, or B, be on a stage talking to us. Confusing us. Let him talk to the shareholders. Okay? He can talk to the shareholders. He can talk, you know, to business partners. But we need somebody who can excite the fans, who can excite the industry, who can excite the press. And by extension of press, guys like me, you know? Small content creators, medium content creators, large content creators on YouTube and other social media platforms. You know, your TikToks, your Instagrams, you know, your Twitter, you know, whatever you care to mention, okay? you got to get it to a point where people want to talk about your products, talk about your services, not out of a feel of, oh, this is the news, I'm a news channel, I have to do this, or, oh my God, look how Sony have messed up, let's tell the world about it. But to get us to a point where we're excited, you know, where we go, oh, look at this, look at this thing, you know? I mean, remember that excitement, some of you older PlayStation fans out there, you felt when we got the the whole, this is how you trade games moment, you know, with Shuhei Yoshida, you know, giving that, you know, passing the game case, that was a, that was a moment, you know? I miss moments. That's one of the reasons I'm really happy that E3 is coming back in person next year, even though I probably won't get to attend because I'm still way too skint and way too small. But, you know. So, what is my solution? Now, it's going to be slightly radical. I warn you from the off. And some of you younger guys out there are probably going to have to Google. But, what do I suggest? Who can fill the void of personality that currently exists in PlayStation in an interview and stage show setting? It's quite simple really. We have to bring back the mighty, the awesome, the incomparable Kevin Butler. Now some of you are going to go, who the hell is Kevin Butler's in bloke? Kevin Butler was a fake CEO that was brought out to talk about stuff and advertise things. He was in a slew of adverts put onto YouTube during his tenure. He was featured in many E3s to come on and talk about things. He was the guy that introduced us to the idea of PlayStation Move. He was the guy that fronted up for Mod Nation Racers, uh, Little Big Planet 2, many, many other things. And he was there and he was a source of fun, he was a source of entertainment. And he could speak knowledgeably and charismatically, most importantly, in this context, about gaming, gamers and PlayStation. You know? And that is something that is sorely missing. So. Considering we're getting E3 back next year, and maybe at some point in the future we might get PSX back. Please, to the gaming gods, bring back PSX. You know, <laughs> we're gonna need somebody with a personality, and even if they are a fake personality, that's better than their personality. So bring back Kevin Butler. Let's have some fun, because Kevin Butler it was it came about in a time when PlayStation was in its big struggle. You know, it was halfway through the PlayStation 3 generation. The sales weren't weren't pumping it. It was too expensive. People didn't see it as a viable option. A lot of people had gone over to Microsoft because they saw PlayStation 3 as being far too expensive. And game devs were a bit wary in using PlayStation 3 to put their games out because it was so hard to develop games with the PS3 because the Emotion Engine was really tricky to program for. So PlayStation was in trouble and they came up with this magical idea of Kevin Butler and he came on and he just exploded and the guy was awesome he's still active on Twitter now the only reason he's not with PlayStation now is because basically he used the same persona 
to advertise for Bridgestone tyres, you know. Now, admittedly, that was a silly move, you know. There was a whole, ooh, people will get confused, people will get confused, Sony, between tyres and a game system. Yeah, think that through, Sony. So, I'm saying, forgive Kevin Butler, bring him back into the fold, zoop him up for, tw for the 2020s, fire him out at the populace, and go, here is the guy to talk about PlayStation, and we can have fun again. Because, I mean, gaming is supposed to be fun, so why shouldn't our press conferences and our adverts for Sony also be fun? You know? I'm so sick and tired of dry presentations. I'm sick of Jim Ryan coming up to me, you know, at like, um, at, what do you call it? The thing in Vegas. Uh... Not TGS, not... Oh, the, the tech show in Vegas every year. I can't remember the name, I've completely blanked. But, like, coming up there and going, We are doing this thing. And then giant logo appears behind them on, like, a 70-foot wide LCD screen. You know, it's like, PSVR 2, PlayStation 5, whatever. You know, Sony back scratcher, you know, whatever. And you go, this is our thing. And you go, oh, that's the thing. And always, you're lucky if you get like a 10 second trailer at, you know, you mostly just get a logo. And it just doesn't excite. It doesn't grab you emotionally. It just doesn't grab you at all. So the man just needs to go, but not go, go, but like not be front facing. Take Jim Ryan away from a front facing role. Please. He just needs to not be there. Get in somebody else. I know you can't get back Sean Layden because he's working with different companies, as is Jack Tretton, you know, as is Sean Layden, you know. It's like, and Shoes stepped back to be the Indies guy, and that's great because he wants to have a bit more time with his family and stuff. So, you know, on you go, Shoe. Family first. Deggy on that son, on that one, son. But. We just need somebody at the front who can get people excited and when asked questions in the media doesn't just drone. Oh, this needs fixing, it needs fixing pronto. Because Phil Spencer, that guy can talk to the audience, he get the idea that he's actually a gamer. You know? It doesn't matter with Nintendo, because he usually just stick out Shigeya Miyamoto and we all know he is a gamer. And we all know he's the you know he's the creative masterpiece that has given us so many Nintendo products over the years. So Nintendo have got that sorted. Microsoft have got that sorted. Sony, you used to have it in the bag. Get it sorted. Put Jim Ryan to the side. And even if you don't bring back Kevin Butler, get somebody with a personality, please. And get somebody with a personality. That can then also be the voice on um, on the adverts, you know, when you do your little sort of things every few months of like, this is what we got coming to PlayStation. Now, don't get me wrong, that woman you got on, she's got a lovely voice and she's quite good on the po on your official podcast. But I'm not excited by her. Okay, she's got a pleasant voice and she says things very well and she has good or oration. You know, it's good stuff, but she's not exciting. Need somebody with a bit of oh, yeah. I mean, don't go completely mental. I don't like get like Jack Black, you know, because <laughs> you can't afford him anyway. But just get somebody in who's been with the company for a long time and has got a personality. Okay, that's what's needed—a personality. Please, Sony. <laughs> we need this because I can't sit through another press conference with Captain Sir Drone a lot. Alright. That's my two pence on the matter. Please typey, typey, typey down below. Let them look know what you think. I will catch you in the next one. Sorry, uh, things have been a little light on content recently, but I just started a new job. So I'm like learning and getting new out. I've got new hours and stuff and it's all over the place, but I should be back to streaming soon on Twitch and YouTube. I'm going to split it week one, week two, week three, week four, back and forth between the platforms. That's what I've decided to do. Uh, so thank you for filling in the poll, those of you that did, on the community posts. Right, I'm going to get out of here, let you back to your day. 
look after each other out there. And of course, as always, I ne bother.